Karakato, Assalamu alaikum Muslim brothers and sisters. My name is the Golden Girl and I'm making this video because I have um, a message or sort of something to tell you. Uh, inshallah, with Allah's help, I'm looking forward to make some videos about things that matter to me, that really matter to me. For example, um, I sometimes walk in the street and I find some Muslim sisters who are not wearing the hijab in a proper way. She might actually think that she's wearing the hijab in a white way, but it's not. Okay, she's wearing it in a completely wrong way, and that's not supposed to be the way of wearing the hijab. It's actually haram. This is not considered a hijab. So I want to talk about such things, you know. And before I talk, inshallah, if I have the time, I will be searching the topic before I talk. Or perhaps I'll be discussing it with my sisters who know more knowledge about Islam than me. As basically I have been said, but I am actually a teenager, so in case if I said something is haram or halal, I will try to make sure that what I'm saying is not just something I want to say. Something that I'm completely sure of, because I'm not an imam, I'm not a sheikh, I'm not um, a mufti, I'm not, I'm not a person who can tell you this is haram and halal. I just want to talk about things that I see in my everyday life that I find wrong. People don't notice these things. People might actually deny it or might not actually be aware of it. So I want to talk about such things. And there's something I noticed basically. Maybe I've noticed it kind of late, but uh, it's better late than never, you know? First of all, I always thought about Islam as a religion. That's okay. I'm a Muslim. It's written down in my passport, and that's it. You know, that's, that's basically it. I'm a Muslim and that's it. I pray, I fast, I read Quran. Sometimes, um, yeah, so I sit for those, those kind of things, you know, that are basically official about Islam. But what I noticed is that this is not just Islam. No way on earth would this be Islam and that's it. Because when you look at the Prophet, peace be upon him, his life was completely not just fasting, praying, and that's it. His life, his whole life, how he behaved, how he walked, how he talked, how he ate, how he, everything he did, everything he did, with respect to him, I respect him dearly, but everything he did, everything he did was based on what Allah has told him to do in the Quran, or perhaps in, in Hadith al-Qudsi, etc. So the Prophet lived his life based on Islam, not just it's not just his religion and that's it. And why am I talking like this? Because obviously, Muhammad, peace be upon him, is our leader. And he will always be our leader. Because we're Muslims and he's always going to be our leader. Even if you have someone that you look up to. The Prophet is always going to be your number one. Because he is the person who, in the first place, made you a Muslim. So, how Islam spread out and etc. is because of him. He came as the messenger of Allah. And he worked hard on spreading the message. So what I'm trying to say is that Islam is a way of life. The way you talk, the way you joke, the way wherever you go, whatever you say, whatever, everything you do is about Islam. So if you're going to tell me it's just a religion, that's a lie. Okay, I don't care about what some people have come up with the idea that Islam is just something that you do in the masjid. That's not true. Okay, I don't know basically, but I'm just saying that Islam is a way of life, and I've noticed that because I've taken I've taken a closer look at his life, and I noticed that he lives Islam, and he does Islam and everything in his life. He included it in his life, so that's basically what we have to do. I'm I'm a Muslim teenage Arab. I actually live in the Middle East, and I was talking. Inshallah about such things. But before I talk about it, if there's a need for me to actually search what I have to say, for example, if I'm going to include a hadith or a verse from the Quran, etc., I will not just say it like that. Um, I hope for inshallah I will search it and I'll so that I can see it in the right way. Yeah. Um, what else do I want to say? You can't see me in the video because I'm not allowed to post pictures or anything of my own. Uh, yes, so my parents don't allow me to actually put my pictures up on the internet. Plus, it's for my own safety, so hopefully you won't ever see my face again. <laughs> I mean, you won't see, see myself in the frame. I'm like, ugh. 
you won't see my face ever. Um, yeah, I've always been a fan of YouTube and I've always loved watching YouTube videos, but now I'm actually making my own. Um, so inshallah, I would always have to be able to do this. Uh, in case you have any suggestions or perhaps you want to basically tell me a few of your ideas, I'm open to ideas. It's over with me. I don't have a problem with that. But if you're a hater and you don't like Islam and you hate Islam and you just want to die, you want us to die, I mean, please don't come on my page. Don't even pass. Don't even send messages, nothing, because I'll just ignore you and treat you like you never existed. So, yeah. That's basically sort of like a so that you know what exactly you're gonna. Anyways, uh, inshallah, inshallah, I'll make the next video in within a couple of days, in within a few days. Um. Okay, so I guess I'm done. <laughs> I talked about everything. Yeah. So okay. See you later, inshallah. Uh,